Good afternoon, Responding Fire World. Meteorologist Dean Davison here. We're going to talk about the weather over the next week or so. Uh, we're enjoying beautiful weather. Even though the temperatures may get up near 90, it won't feel that way. We're not going to get into the heat wave like we did last time around. It won't be as hot. We will see some warming up, but it's not going to be terrible. Um, we will see some precipitation. This is all normal summer pattern coming up here. A lot of people on their uh, vacations at the beach. Uh, a little bit of rough waves earlier this week This week, because my brother's down in uh, Nags Head with his girlfriend and her son down in Nags Head. And uh, they had a little bit of rough waves, but it seems like things have went really well. And that's pretty cool to know that. And I know other people that are going down to Myrtle Beach and other places like that should be pretty decent over the next uh, week or so. We'll maybe have a little bit of uh, precipitation here and there. As you see, high pressure is dominating the area. In the eastern United States, the showers and thunderstorms will stay north, mainly New York. And further to the north, we have this we have this high pressure system dominating the area. We have a slight chance of maybe some precipitation coming here Wednesday, and that would be Wednesday uh, for Roanoke Valley here for maybe some of the northern shore locations, Nags Head and and OBX that area. I don't see anything really big in uh, like South Carolina. And then we get a, a low pressure develop by Friday, Thursday night into Friday, and that will bring some precipitation to the area up in the Virginia and New Jersey area and possibly some showers and thunderstorms by Friday and Saturday along the Carolina coast. Then we get the next storm system move in, and we look at possibly some really wet weather a week from Monday as we get a slow-moving front moving through the area. Then you get the breaks and have a front here and there coming through the region. These are going to be here and there systems. Once you get towards uh, two weeks, which is pretty far out for anything um, to really be accurate, accurate, uh, we'll just be seeing the cold fronts here and there. I don't see a whole lot of severe weather, and I don't see tropical weather really pushing heavily here, except for this little low here in the Pacific. I don't see very much anything tropical in the near term here on. The coastlines. So temperature-wise, see t temperatures across the country. I'm actually going to try to get this zoomed in. As we look on the temperature profiles, you see temperatures getting to the 80s. That's not not normal. I mean, over the next few days, we're talking about temperatures stay in the 80s. That's normal stuff. We get towards 90 maybe Monday and Tuesday. By Wednesday and Thursday, things start to cool down a little bit. We're talking about temperatures probably in the mid 80s. And by next Saturday, we may get up to the 90s again. But then once again, we get another cold front moving in. And, it, and what it does is brings it back down to the 70s and 80s. So we get these short bursts of heat, but nothing crazily bad. Um, so there will be some humidity. This is, this is going into August. This is expected. So otherwise, enjoy your time on the lake. Enjoy your time on the beaches. Wear sunscreen. And make sure you wear life observers when you're at the beach uh, or doing things like boating and jet skiing. Otherwise, enjoy your time. We'll talk to you again soon. Meteorologist Dean Davidson, thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.